Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rachel. I'm back with another video. I'm in my work attire. It's almost 10 o'clock at night, but I wanted to film this, so I purchased some things off of Sephora, and I figured I'd share with you. So I had some money from my birthday. Um, I had some gift cards, and I spent a little bit of my money as well. There's some skincare, makeup, and I figured I'd just share with you everything I have. So let's get started. Oh. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so I know you guys are uh, liking and watching my videos, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna basically pull anything out of the box. If it's skincare first, and I'll kinda look for all the skincare stuff. If it's makeup, then do all the makeup first. Kinda keep it categorized. Let's get this all out. Okay, first you got some freebie stuff. Um, looks like I got the Clinique 2-in-1 Beyond Perfecting uh, Foundation Concealer, uh, the Cover FX, the new Power Play, got some samples of that, and I got a sample of the Beauty Blender um, soap sponge thing. Alright, on to the good stuff. So it looks like we're going to be starting off with skincare. So the first one I have is by Drunk Elephant. I've been really wanting to try their stuff, but it's pricey. I didn't want to spend the money and um, not like it. I mean, you can return a really good return policy, but still. So I got a tester of the Jelly Cleanser and the Lala Retro Whip Cream um, Moisturizer. I know how to open this. These are just sample sizes. Actually, it's not too bad. Those sizes aren't too bad for a sample. So I'm really excited to try this out because I actually just ran out of cleansers. So I got a few different skincare items to try. So kind of excited. Throw those back in there or just over here. Okay, the next one, I've been wanting to try this brand as well. It's, by, it's called Belief, but it came in this cute little travel. And I figured this would be good for like when I go on my honeymoon to California. Um, but this comes with a little bit of everything. They have their toner, their cleanser, um, their moisturizers, their eye cream. The one I'm really excited about is the um, Aqua Balm because I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. And I'm kind of excited for the um, eye balm too because I tend to have a little bit drier under eyes and I think Casey Holmes mentioned this. It was either this or the Aqua Balm. But um, either way, she raved about them. So I'm excited to try this brand, too. And it comes in a cute little travel case, too. Um, skincare, what else? Oh. Next, I got this um, three-pack of the Oil Henri Henriksen um, stuff to try as well. And there is a Pore Balance Facial Scrub, their Gel Cleanser, and their... Um, moisturizer. This is another brand I've heard for years that is really good. Um, and I'm finally just like really dabbling into my skincare because I'm really to pick it up. I think that's it for skin. Oh, nope. <laughs> the one I've been most excited for. So I, as you all know, Tatcha is my, one of my favorite skincare brands. Um, so I ran out of the cleansing oil and I really wanted to try the deep cleanse um, cleanser. I think that's what it's called. It's just called the deep cleanse, but it's a cleanser for your face. Um, let me see what the packaging looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. So it's just like their um, cleansing oil. It's in that same type of packaging. Let me try and pop this off. Oh, it's a twist. Okay. Oh, that's different. Okay. I thought it was going to be a pump, but it's actually like a squeezy. Oh, boy. Really? It's not a pump? Am I doing this wrong? Nope. Okay. I really thought it was a pump. That's okay. I'll, I'll manage. I'll just have to be careful. Um, but yeah, this, just because it's like a kind of probably like an everyday cleanser, but um, super excited to try this. I was really, really excited about this. Okay, on to some makeup. Okay, so this one I've been super excited about. It's the new Huda, Bo Huda, 
Ugh. Huda Beauty. This is the Coral Obsessions um, palette. Look how gorgeous that looks. So excited to put this on my eyes. Oh my goodness. Colors are speaking summer to me. I love these because of how travel friendly they are. I talked about my the mob the mobs palette, how it can be like a hit or miss sometimes, but I still really like it, even though sometimes I feel like it might be a little difficult to blend out. These palettes are still really good. Next, I was excited for this. There's mixed reviews on it, so I'm a little nervous. It's the Natasha Denona the Mini Blush and Glow palette. It is pretty mini, but it, they tell you it's mini. Um, oh, how do you guys like this lighting? So it's the first time I'm trying to ring light. You might see it in my glasses. Sorry about that. But finally got a ring light. Really excited about it. So now I can record whenever. <laughs> All right. Anyways, but pretty highlighter and like a nice coral blush. Ooh, that feels beautiful. You see this highlight. Oh, those are pretty. So the blush, I don't know if you're going to really be able to see it. Uh, no, okay. So the blush is coral with like a golden undertone to it. And then the um, highlighter, it's kind of like a, like a light champagne. I don't know if you can see the, yeah, you can see that. It's that golden undertone to it. And then this is the highlighter. So it seems very pretty and they're very buttery. So hoping it will work nice on my skin tone. But people are like, oh, you gotta apply so much, blah, blah, blah. I like ones that are buildable compared to just like having to lightly tap on your face. So the next thing, oh, so excited for these. It was so hard just to pick one, but I have this like look in mind for summer, just like a bronzy, warm eye, kind of smoked out eye. So I have the Tarte Chrome Paint and Park Avenue Princess. I got this off of Samantha on um, YouTube here. Oh my goodness. It is softly packed. It kind of feels wet. Oh man. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, I can't wait to play with that. Oh, do you see that? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I'm so excited I can't even get the lid back on. <laughs> what the hell? There we go. Alright. So, if I really like that, I'm probably picking up every shade. Because those feel amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see what else I got here. Alright. So, I got the Hourglass Veil um, Translucent Setting Powder. I'm kind of bougie a little bit, but this is the packaging. Very just like classic hourglass. And then, let's see what the inside looks like. Wow, that's pretty. This is the inside. You can see the H there. It's really pretty. Excited to try that powder. Heard it looks amazing on the skin. Next. I got a trial size, actually it's two mascaras, I think. Yeah, the first one is the Lancome Monsieur Big um, mascara. Um, let's see if I can open it. There we go. The Monsieur Big. I heard really good things about this one. Um, I've been wanting to try it out. My eyes are just a really sensitive to certain like fragrances, fragrances. so um, this one I'm a little skeptical about. And then, I'm really excited about this one. I got a trial size of the Milk Makeup Kush um, Mascara. If I can open it. Come on, what the hell? Why is, why is this so hard? Okay, let's rip the box open. Ooh, even the mini size. Even the mini size packaging is really heavy. Dang. I like the packaging though. Yes. Okay. Next up. This is new from Marc Jacobs. It's their Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick. 
and I was really excited for this because I've been wanting to try like their glosses for the longest time. Um, but then I saw they came out with these and I've been told just put as much as, just lift it up as much as you need. Let me see how it swatches. Oh wow, okay. You see, it's just a light gloss. It goes on. That's so weird. Like the warmth of the skin made it like super glossy. Oh, that's cool. I can't wait to try that. And that color is beautiful. And the other glass I got is from Becca Cosmetics. This is the Glow Gloss in Opal, which I was really excited to try this too. I'm really weird with glosses. I don't like them super um, pigmented. Oh, that's pretty. I just hope it's not sticky. Feels like it'd be a little sticky. Okay, so this one here is opal. There we go. So this one here is opal. This one here is the Marc Jacobs. There we go. Okay. Then next, I just picked up a primer. It's the Farsali Farsali Unicorn Essence um, drops. I really like these. They are a great base for your foundation. Um, I have no bad, bad complaints about this. I really like this. And then Dior Air Flash came out with more shades. So I got so excited for this. So I picked up my shade, I'm hoping, in 300, which is like a medium beige. Um, let me spread a little bit. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna be my shade. Ah, yes, 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 bitch. Then, what else did I get? I might have one more thing. Oh, two more things. I got um, to try the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. Um, I heard this is like good and lightweight, so that was something I was looking forward to. I really hope this is my color though. Oh yeah, that's good. I like my concealer. It's just a little lighter. That way it highlights underneath the eyes as well. Ooh, that feels really hydrating. Oh yes, okay. All about that. That's nice. And then the last thing I picked up is I've been dying to try Violet Voss for a long time. And um, this palette just like spoke to me. This and the Holy Grail one, which is like completely warm tones and I'm all about it. I'm having some serious issues opening stuff today. Off my finger. <laughs> So I got the Violet Voss Hashtag Palette. You see it? Okay. Oh wow, those pan sizes are pretty big. I did not expect that. They actually looked smaller on um, line, online. So here is the palette. Super pretty. But yeah, these colors, this purple right here, ugh, oh my goodness. But these shades, I am living for. I cannot wait to use this. And I love that they include a brown and a black. So really, you can take this whole palette. It's completely versatile. You can create a warm look with the gold, and you can create a purple. You can even do like a sunset look. Oh, there's so many looks in here. I'm so inspired by this. Oh, super, super pumped. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So I think I'm gonna do the first impressions. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll record that um, of using all these new products. Or do you want me to actually like test them and see what you what I think of them after using them a few tries? Because I feel like a first impression can really be a hit or a miss because for instance, the new Hourglass, re like the retouching veil, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of people were thinking it's a concealer. So all these YouTubers are doing reviews and they're saying it's so terrible, not realizing it's not a concealer. It's a touch up your makeup throughout the night. 
if it's feeling a little, um, like if it's getting patchy or something, you put little bits on and like dab it out and stuff. So without them doing that sort of type of research, they're giving a product a bad review. So I'm a little iffy about doing first impressions. Let me know what you guys would want me to do, whether it's first impression or give a just review in general after I've used them for a little bit. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.